Hey guys, hope you're doing well. It's been a while since I've done an Excel VBA tutorial, so I'm going to break the trend and do another one. Uh, a wee while back I had some questions on how to create um, the database file in Excel without actually using SQL Server or SQL Express. And so I did a bit of uh, homework and figured it out and I'm going to share that with you now. So we go to our Visual Basic IDE. Okay, and I've already done the coding for you just to save a bit of time, but I'll walk you through it. Okay, first thing to create a connection string, and you'll notice the connection string is subtly different from our previous connection strings where we used the SQL database. This time we're going to use the JET database and we're going to set the data source to uh, a directory on your local drive and then the database name, whatever you want to call it. In my particular example, I'm going to create testdb.mdb. Okay, the next stage is to create a catalog object. Set the catalog object up to an adox.catalog. Adox is uh, actually stands for um, Active Data Objects Extensions, okay, which is a Microsoft thing. And before you can do that, you're going to need to set a reference. So you do that in Tools, References, and you point to the Microsoft ActiveX Data Object 6.1 library. If you don't have 6.1, then just point it to the highest one you do have, okay? So whether that's two three four five whatever okay make sure you select that and click okay once you've done that you create the catalog and you pass it this string okay which is provided with microsoft jet already db4 okay now four is the version of jet i have installed you obviously set it to four three two one whichever is the latest version of jet you have installed the next thing you need to do is set the jet engine type okay the jet engine type for ollie four sorry for jet four is type five Okay, now I got that from Google and I've got this little table up here and you can see on this table that the different JET engine types uh, associated with your version of JET is 12345. Okay, so for example, if you're using JET 2, then you would set your JET type down here to 3. Okay, but we're using 4. I'm using Windows 7. I have 4 installed, so I set mine to the engine type 5. And now again, you set the data source to the path and file name that you want to where you want to store and create the database that is it it's that simple as far as writing to the database goes nothing is has changed from the previous examples okay so you essentially create your uh, connection okay you set the connection type okay to an addo db connection you open the connection using your connection string which you created earlier up here Okay, in our constant, I made it a constant outside of the subs so that it's visible to all the all the uh, different uh, the different subroutines. Okay, the next thing we do here is we actually create a table within our database. Okay, and we're going to give it a product name uh, column uh, of 50 um, characters, and we're going to give a product ID. Okay, 10 characters and product price decimal 10. And then we're going to insert some demo data into our table here. Okay, so we're going to insert into product name, value one, product ID, one two three, and product price, three forty five. Okay, now that's exactly the same as the previous example I did using SQL database, and I go into a little bit more um, detail there if you want to follow those up. Okay, so just to show you that this works, if you currently look into my template directory, you'll see there's nothing in there, just an old archive. Go back to Excel. Okay, we're going to step through the creation of the database file. So we're going to press F8 to step through this. Okay, F8, 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 F8. Okay, now that should have created our database. So we go back to the temporary directory. Sure enough, testdb.mdb is created. If you have Microsoft Access installed, which I do, you can double click on this, open it up, and you can see that it's opened. So it's uh, successfully created the database file, but at the moment we have no tables in there. So we'll kill access, okay, we'll go back to our RDE and we'll step through the create table DB function or procedure. Okay, we'll step into here, step, step, step. So we've opened the connection string, string, sorry, create the table. Okay, so now if we go back to access, okay, look in there, you'll see we've got the table but we've got no data in it. Okay, product nah, via RD, product price. Okay, so but there's nothing in it, so we'll kill that again. 
go back to the ID and now we'll insert our data F8 and sub that should be it job done go back to our database open her up double click on the table and now you can see we've got product one one two three three four five okay so this was all done without the use of SQL Express or SQL Server just by creating a local database which is very handy and very portable okay so anyway I hope you found this tutorial helpful that uh, it's quite a handy little tip and uh, good luck in your uh, programming endeavors till next time Bye-bye.